hapa tumepata mgeni alikuta fisi tayari kuja kuhudhuria ibada ya Jumapili ya umoja lakini mgeni huyu ametoka mbali sana na ana ushuhuda kwa ufupi kwa sababu anataka kurudi airport ili mtumishi wa Mungu pia usikie na ambate mawili kutoka kwa mtumishi wa Mungu alafu arudi tayari moyo airport aende kwa hivyo karibu sana mgeni ujieleze na lugha wapi asante sana mimi jina langu ni Morris Othulu 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 nilizaliwa na CIA Kenya na hivi hapa nilipo niko nyumbani kwa sababu kuzaliwa kwangu kwa mara ya pili kwa sababu kitu cha maana inaitwa kuleta mji huu mwaka wa 1962 ilikuwa ni kunguni na chao sasa tukua kuna rara pale juu English is easier for me. It's my natural language now. I, I, as, as I was saying, the main two things I brought here, the, the two things that I brought here, were bed bugs and lies. And I remember that when we went to sleep, I could not take my clothes off, and I did not want to open my bag because I knew what was inside. And I felt that my brother's hair, who looked all very important, should not be infected with bad bugs and lies. So, so, so I kept my clothes in my bag. I did not change them. And two days later, I went back to Ukunda with my clothes unchanged in this sweat. But, but I had to. But, and then uh, I, I came back here it, on, the, on that day, actually. I, I was uh, healed immediately here. Because when we were in the evening service, the missionary spoke as if he was speaking to me. And he said, if you came here, and you have been told what not to eat, I am telling you, eat anything. If you are told not to eat beans, if you are told not to eat fish from the coast, if you are told not to eat goat meat, I say eat it. And if you become unwell, you can take me to court. I can say today, I still eat beans, and I have just eaten now fish, and I still eat goat meat. I am black. He did not pray for me. He just said it. And I thought he was talking to me. So, so I believed it and took it. And then uh, about half a year later, we, we, it was in April of 93, over Easter. 
He was preaching again and he said you, you, you shouldn't have to knock other people's doors looking for a job. If you do God's work, he will give you work. So again, I did not have a job at that time, and uh, because of my name, I, I, I was told I could not get a job, because I know I went to a hotel in Diani, and they even hired me, but then the owner came and said, take this name off. But, but, but then when I was here, he said, honor your father and mother. And the thing that, that reminded me of was that when they took off my name, it was Morris Otieno. It did not have Othulo in it. Because Othulo is my father's name. And I had disliked that name. Because it means potatoes ripening. So I went through all my education without using that name. That meant even my education did not finish. I had to leave schooling from two. Because my father could not pay any money. But I was not using his name. But when I came here that April, a missionary also said, you find the tree on the path where Jesus will pass. Climb on it. He will see you. So I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know what that meant. I did not put any meaning. But I saw when we were eating up there some, some very, very important brothers. I remember one of them was a medical doctor. And we were eating rice. But he was eating with his fingers. And I, I, I just did not accept that as right. Because I thought he was too important to eat so, so I took that to, 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 to mean that is going to be my job. To, to, to change this into a place where people eat not with their fingers. And I started buying spoons. So, so I, I sent my first three spoons here in, in three consecutive weeks. In the fourth week, a job came looking for me at home. A hotel manager came with a sister from the church. And, and, they, and they only asked me if I would like to come to work tomorrow. And that is how I became a security guard. And, and when I told the pastor that I was a guard and I was not happy, he said, the, the God who started this hasn't finished it. This is just the beginning. And uh, today I can say, it is not the end yet, but it is very far. Be because now, I still have a job, but I am now the global head of, of all financial management in an organization that works in 37 countries. The budget is 300 million dollars. And, and I am in charge of that. So if you compare that with bed bags and lice and all I needed to do was to buy spoons. 
and this board is very easy. So that, that, that is why I have started again. In, in fact, when I told Alan that I was thinking of starting this poems again, within two weeks, I had to write to Alan again to say I have been told I may be appointed to the board directors. I think it is still going So I am very grateful to this person. He has taken me from the bottom. And as I was telling my brothers upstairs, he has put me in a three-story house in London, which I own myself. It's hard to imagine, but it's true. Because he said, I will open the windows of heaven and just pour blessings until you don't know where to put them. I, I, I think I'm very near there. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a very short testimony. You are my guest. You must come to listen to the gospel. This is the earth. Here now he is going to go back to the church. So he is going to go back to the church. So he is going to go back to the church. So he is going to go back to the church. Because of the good works which God has already done. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am the one who has laid as a foundation in Zion a stone, a tested stone, a precious corner stone of a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not be in haste.
Ame tuinua, ame tuponya, ame tubariki.